welcome to the studio. Today's video is about remote rolling. So when I say remote rolling, what I mean is uh, using two independent recording devices and having one of the devices roll remotely as the primary device rolls into record. The equipment that I'm using to do this remote rolling or plant recorder would be another uh, term we could use for this is I'm using a six series recorder as you can see here I have a 633 this also works with the 688 uh, and then connected to the time code output is the Betso TCX2 transceiver which is a time code box that'll work as a transmitter or receiver and then receiving is this other Betso TCX2 which is set in receiver mode which is outputting timecode to the aux in input of this Mix Pre 3 here to uh, complete the remote rolling system. So how it works is, is once everything is set up, cabled, and good to go, when I roll the 633, like now, it also rolls the Mix Pre 3. And then when I press stop, this uh, device here also will stop having this remote rolling system opens up more possibilities. So what you hear a lot about remote recorders, especially with all these new recorders on the market is backups. Uh, so, you know, hey, I got a backup or if I go out of wireless range, I'm gonna have a recording and that's very, very useful. But I think that only tips the iceberg of really what's possible with this remote rolling technology. Doesn't take much to set up a stereo mic on a stand. You could also do 360 workflows with this. The less cabling you have to run on the film set, the better things are going to go. Let me segue into how this is specifically working, how this system functions. If you look here and we go into the time code mode, you're going to notice a mode called 24 hour run auto mute. And what this means is, is that you're still in 24 hour run time code but it mutes the timecode output of the 633 unless you drop the unit into record. So that allows the timecode signal to be sent out on record. From there, I have a Lima 5 cable splitting out to a BNC out. Uh, my particular cable here is an in and out because BNC can only travel one direction with timecode where the Lima 5 has the ability to go both directions. Um, so by doing so, uh, I'm going to go into the Betso TCX2 menu mode, and there's a menu here called Special. And the menu says, copy transmitter timecode in to receiver timecode out. So basically, by turning that mode on here, it's basically when this unit receives the timecode, it's basically going to send it wirelessly to this Betso TCX2 set up as a receiver. So we go into the menu of the receiver and we're gonna set that up the same way under special. Transmitter timecode in to receiver timecode out. Once all that is done, you'll notice that the units say no timecode if you're not rolling. What that means is that your timecode is still running on your device, 24 hour run, but it's not gonna transmit unless we send it out of the timecode out of the six series recorder. And in order to do so, we have to roll it. So the final step is we're gonna use a BNC out to a three and a half millimeter TRS cable, which sends to the auxiliary in. And on the mix pre, we're gonna go into the inputs, choose auxiliary in mode and choose time code. Once that's all said and done, you're good to go. And as I roll the six series recorder, I also am re rolling the mix pre three. And as you can see here, the time code is running on the Mix Pre 3. Since it can receive time code via the aux in, then you have a time code locked sound roll. Please feel free to share your experience or if you want to comment maybe something you did with remote rolling that was cool uh, or any particular questions about this system, um, I'm happy to answer those questions. Thanks for watching this video. Um, look forward to seeing you guys soon. For more videos like these, uh, smash that subscribe button if you would. Hit that like button, ring that bell for notifications, and we'll see you guys soon.